The year is 1977. Disco rules, Star Wars debuts, and humanity launches Voyager 2, a robotic emissary on a mission that sounds like science fiction. On August 20th, a Titan rocket lifts Voyager 2 from Cape Canaveral, aiming for the outer solar system, a realm of giants we'd only glimpsed from afar. The mission's genius? The Grand Tour, a rare planetary alignment that happens once every 176 years. NASA's plan used gravity assist from Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune to slingshot Voyager 2 across billions of miles, saving fuel and time. Each flyby bends its path and boosts its speed, a cosmic billiard shot powered by the laws of physics. Voyager 2 isn't just flying, it's dancing with the planets, borrowing energy from each to reach the next. This gravitational choreography turned an impossible journey into a 12-year odyssey. Voyager 2 carried not just scientific instruments but the Golden Record, a time capsule of Earth's sights and sounds in case it ever met intelligent life. This was more than science it was a message, we are here, this is our home, and we are reaching out. As Voyager 2 left Earth, it carried our hopes and curiosity into the unknown. It began a silent journey that would rewrite our understanding of the solar system. A small craft, a grand adventure. The Odyssey had begun. First stop Jupiter 1979 Voyager 2 reveals the Great Red Spot as a raging storm, finds new rings, and discovers volcanic activity on Io. Next Saturn in 1981. Voyager 2's images show the rings are thousands of icy ringlets, and it studies the hexagonal storm at the North Pole and Titan's hazy atmosphere. Each encounter transforms distant points of light into dynamic worlds. In 1986, Voyager 2 becomes the only spacecraft to visit Uranus. A tilted icy giant with extreme seasons, it discovers new moons, rings and a bizarre off-center magnetic field. Uranus raises more questions than answers. The final stop, Neptune 1989. Voyager 2 finds the Great Dark Spot, the fastest winds in the solar system, faint rings and geysers on Triton. In just 12 years Voyager 2 visits four giant planets, an unmatched feat. Each flyby uncovers mysteries transforming our view of the solar system. Voyager 2's journey is a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. The grand tour is complete, but the story is far from over. The real surprises are just beginning. Let's focus on Voyager 2's 1986 flyby of Uranus, our first close encounter with this enigmatic planet. Uranus appeared as a serene aquamarine sphere almost featureless compared to Jupiter and Saturn. Its most striking trait a 98-degree axial tilt causing one pole to face the sun for 21 years, then switch. Voyager 2 arrived during southern summer with the South Pole sunlit. Scientists hoped to see wild weather but Uranus seemed calm. Instruments found an atmosphere of hydrogen helium and methane, the latter giving Uranus its blue-green color. The magnetic field was wildly tilted and offset hinting at a strange interior. Most surprising Uranus radiated almost the same energy it received from the Sun, unlike its giant neighbors. No sign of internal heat, no dramatic storms. The conclusion Uranus was a cold, geologically dead world. Beautiful, strange, but inert. Or so we thought. After Voyager 2's flyby, Uranus was labeled the oddball, cold, quiet and lacking internal heat. Unlike Jupiter, Saturn and Neptune which radiate leftover heat from their formation, Uranus seemed to have lost its fire. The leading theory, a massive ancient impact knocked Uranus on its side and bled away its heat. This explained its tilt and placid appearance, a world with its energy extinguished by a violent past. For decades models of Uranus assumed a thermally dead planet. The data seemed clear, Uranus was giving us the cold shoulder but the story wasn't over. Fast forward to 2025. A new analysis of Voyager 2's data combined with decades of telescope observations reveals a shock. Uranus isn't dead after all, it has a hidden internal heat source, a faint but real heartbeat. The old cold Uranus model was based on a single flyby during a unique season. With new data and powerful computer models, scientists see that Uranus radiates more heat than it receives from the Sun. Its true nature was masked by its tilt and seasonal effects. Uranus is dynamic, not inert, a world with a secret inner life. This discovery rewrites everything we thought we knew. If Uranus has internal heat, what else have we missed? The mystery deepens. Why does it appear so calm? What's the real story of its formation? Uranus is no longer a static relic, but an active, evolving world. The quiet giant has a warm heart after all. This breakthrough wasn't a single eureka moment, it was decades of patient observation. A Uranian year lasts 84 Earth years to understand its climate, scientists watched through all its seasons. Combining Voyager 2's data with decades of Hubble, Keck and James Webb observations, 
They tracked subtle changes and emerging storms. Feeding all this into advanced computer models, they found only those with internal heat matched Uranus's real behavior. The result? Uranus isn't cold and dead but quietly active. Sometimes the biggest discoveries come from old data seen in a new light. It took a new generation's patience to reveal Uranus's secret heartbeat. The puzzle pieces finally fit. Discovering Uranus's internal heat changes everything. Its weather isn't just solar-powered. There's a hidden engine driving convection, clouds, and storms. The old impact theory is in doubt. Maybe Uranus retained more heat than we thought, or has a unique way of holding on to it. This challenges our ideas about planetary formation and evolution. The internal heat also explains Uranus's bizarre magnetic field. Active convection stirs its icy mantle, powering a complex dynamo. Uranus's warmth and magnetic weirdness are linked. This insight helps us understand not just Uranus but thousands of exoplanets like it. By studying Uranus, we learn about worlds across the galaxy. The planet is reborn. From cold relic to key to planetary science. The mystery is deeper, and the quest more exciting than ever. Uranus is alive with secrets. While we unlock new secrets from its data, Voyager 2 itself journeys on. After Neptune, it entered interstellar space in 2018, now over 13 billion miles from Earth. Its signals take over 20 hours to reach us, yet it still sends back data on cosmic rays and magnetic fields. Its power is fading, engineers shut down systems to keep it alive as long as possible. By 2030, Voyager 2 will likely fall silent, but its journey continues, drifting through the galaxy for millions of years, carrying the golden record. Long after we're gone, Voyager 2 will be out there, a silent ambassador. Its legacy is not just in data, but in the audacity of its endless voyage. Voyager 2's story is humanity's story reaching for the stars. The 2025 discovery of Uranus's internal heat has reignited scientific passion. We have to go back. Voyager 2's flyby sparked a mystery that lasted 40 years now, a dedicated orbiter and probe could solve it. The call for a Uranus mission is urgent top priority for the next decade. An orbiter would map the planet's fields weather rings, and moons in detail. An atmospheric probe would dive into the clouds sampling an ice giant's atmosphere for the first time. This is how we'll unravel Uranus's heat, tilt, and origins. Voyager 2's legacy is more than answers its inspiration. Great missions spark new questions and new journeys. The discovery of Uranus's warm heart is a puzzle we can't solve from afar, we need to return to follow Voyager 2's trail. Science advances by building on the past standing on the shoulders of giants, human and robotic. The story of Uranus is just beginning, the time has come to go back.